Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today I've got another episode of Classic Candy Corner. I found this at the 99 cent store. I don't remember these being out for a little while. Maybe they're bringing them back. Back in the old days when they had uh, different candies, probably um, 60s, 70s, I think they started bringing these out. Mostly in the movie theaters. And uh, there was only a couple flavors back then. There were um, hot tamales, uh, Mike and Ike's, which was like a fruity flavor. And then they had Jolly Joe's. And I think they, somewhere along the line, they had other flavors. And that's what I found today. Jolly Joe's, it's under the Mike and Ike label, but originally it was only, it was Jolly Joe's, hot tamales and Mike and Ike's. And then they kind of just uh, grouped the Mike and Ike and did uh, all the different fruit flavors. Mike and Ike's uh, sours, tropical, red. They've had specialty flavors in the past, uh, butter popcorn, root beer float, cherry and bub, a lot of different ones, but this one was Jolly Joe's. And I think the box used to be a little different. They had like a, a guy on the label and the hot tamales was a guy with the hat. And Mike and Ike's were, I think it was the two guys. And um, yeah, this is grape, by the way. All grape. And um, yeah, fat, fat free and gluten free. 110 calories for 16 pieces. And I remember I used to get these a lot. Um, normally at the, like the gas station, we call it the mini mart. You go up there and they were small boxes, uh, like about a quarter, I believe. A box on like this. These were like movie theater size. And when you would go to the movie theaters, these would cost you like five, four bucks. And uh, you could get them, you know, normally at the, the other places, you know, for a lot less. And uh, yeah. Anything at the movie theaters was very pricey. They even had, at one point when I was real little, they had vending machines in the movie theaters and they had ice cream in the there and I believe they had uh, candy bars and cola. I remember the ice cream vending machines, yeah. You had the little doors and you open them up. All right, so yes, Jolly Joe's. They look like little bullets, I guess. I don't know quite what they, um, yeah, quite what they're supposed to be, I guess. Kind of like the Good and Plenty's, I guess. Just a little weird uh, gum in the, um, gel in the middle and then that candy coating on the outside. And it's going to be all grape. Yep, very intense. <laughs> now that's not to be confused with grape heads. Grape Heads was a different one. They were a little chewier. And they were round. Cherry Heads. Apple. Lemon Heads. But certainly these. I do remember. This brings me back to when I was little. That grape flavor. Also, back in the day when you used to have Grape was best. Grape popsicles. <laughs> grape popsicles, Kool-Aid. Pixie sticks were in grape. Grape jelly was always good. I don't, know, I don't remember if they had grape jelly rancher. But certainly uh, candies with grape. Lollipops. But yes, Mike and Ike's. It was a nice little chewy candy. But it was best, like I said, in the movie theaters. For some reason, whenever I would go to a movie at the movie theater, I would get a hot tamales and a, a soda. Because, you know, the hot tamales was a little bit spicy. And it really uh, <laughs> kind of was good. Now, I think they've really toned it down as far as flavor goes for the cinnamon now. Just uh, kids huh? can't handle it, but. Um, certainly the, the Mike and Ike's, the, the movie theater candies, milk duds, all that stuff. True classics, you have them all the time. Uh, I kind of liked, I liked the hot tamales. I liked the Jolly Joe's. I liked 
Mike and Ike's not so much, but certainly I would get them a lot. Also, I think at the Halloween time, you'd have little mini, mini boxes, like had a couple of them in there, and along with other stuff like that. And uh, certainly, yes, they've come out with a whole lot of different flavors lately, special edition. Um, some of them are a little bit strange, a little bit weird. I guess they're starting to bring these back. Like I said, I found this at the uh, 99 cent store. They had other ones too that I hadn't seen before, like Typhoon, Typhoon uh, Berry and uh, Sour Mix. They had a couple other ones too. And it was like, um, yeah, all red flavors. Um, they've had a few. And like I said, they've had some really weird ones that were like limited edition, butter popcorn, cherry cola. Uh, what was it? The one Sunday, all the different ice cream Sunday ingredients. Uh, yeah, they've had a lot, and some of them have been discontinued over the years. And they had a. I was reading about it a couple of years back. I think it was like in the 90s or early 2000s. They had a big thing about Mike and Ike separated, and they went their separate ways. And it was Mike without Ike, and they had this big storyline going. And eventually, they solved it. And they got back together, and they put out a. Uh, flavor to commemorate it or something and uh but certainly they've been around for quite a while mike and ike's jolly joe's hot tamales any of those kind of candies and they are yeah just born just born industries so they make quite a few and like i said <clears throat> all the time you'd get the the candies and stuff mostly yeah movie theaters was perfect time for those and uh, sometimes, yeah, I'd, I'd mix them up. I'd put the hot tamales, the grape, the Mike and Ike's, you know, just uh, mix them all up, put them in a bowl, <laughs> grab a handful. And these were certainly fun. And I did like grape. Grape flavor was always the best. Everybody liked, you know, grape lollipop. You'd always fight for the um, the flavors, you know. You want the cherry, you want the uh, grape, you want the orange. And it seemed like those were like uh, standard colors. Or st those were standard flavors uh, grape cherry and orange uh, popsicles kool-aid uh, lollipops pretty much uh, those were the standard go-to flavors then they got a little more exotic and had other flavors but the most popular ones yes were cherry grape and orange and I know lots of popsicles and uh, jello <laughs> Yeah, jello too. I had a lot of that, so cherry, grape, and orange. But these were fun. And like I said, I think they're really starting to bring back some of these old time candies. They're re reintroducing them, I guess. Uh, they did the lemon head, they did the Johnny Appleseed, the uh, Cherry Clan, uh, Alexander the Grape. They brought those back. I think some of these companies are reviving some of these old classic candies. They're putting them back out for a new generation to, you know, get reintroduced to them and um, realize that, hey, maybe these were pretty good. And for a lot of the older people, they probably do remember how when they were little, you know, those were the candies that they kind of grew up with. And maybe some of them were, you know, way even before. Some of the old, really classic ones, over 100 years old. But it was always fun. Mike and Ike's. Jolly Joe's, hot tamales, any of those kind of candies were good. Well, the chewy kind of candies are good and plenty. They did have the one good and fruity that didn't last too long. But um, certainly these are really good. Like I said, watching, now you're watching a movie, you're watching a series. When you binge watch something, I guess you can just sit back and have a little bit of stuff. And uh, kind of remember what it was like when you were little. And uh, when <laughs> candy at the movies only cost, you know, a couple dollars because <laughs> it was jacked up. But or you'd sneak your own candy and you'd go down to the to the dime store, five and dime. They're not five and dime anymore. <laughs> it's now the Dollar Tree and Dollar and Up Tree now. But yeah, certainly you can find a lot of the classic candies at uh, Dollar Tree at uh, 99 cent store, sometimes big lots. Um, some of these other ones, you know, closeout stores. And also sometimes you'll find them in gas stations, mom and pop gas stations. 
they tend to carry a lot of those classic candies or some of the ones that um just have been around quite a while i've seen lots of like just bubble gum and now and laters and jolly ranchers and airheads all kinds of stuff like that so yeah check out your local dollar tree or um 99 cent store or one of those ones like the closeout ones big lots you'll take you'll tend to find a lot of different ones so head on down give them a try and maybe you'll find some jolly joes <laughs> and you can be jolly so there you go guys a little bit of memory of uh, something i grew up with now maybe some of you other people didn't really grow up with this but if you have go ahead and leave a comment down below say yeah i remember those from when i was little I used to get them all the time so there you go so if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell over here that way you won't miss any future content or if i go live you won't miss the fun so until next time andrea's food reviews when i'll be trying another classic candy for you provided i can find them um, i'll go ahead and put these away i'll have a couple another time and until next time guys i will talk to you later